Hello fellow blender heads and wing nuts and today I am going to show you how to uh, put a circle face on something and, and align it so it has a nice polygon flow in both blender and wings 3d so I'm going to start out with blender first and I'll just go to wings 3d it's both fairly simple in both programs so let's just get to it so say I have a cube Subdivide it a couple times. So I have some mesh to work with. Like so. And I'm just going to stick some more faces. That way I have a uh, big end gun face with a lot of edges around. And in uh, Blender you're going to want the Loop Tools plugin turned on, so you'll need Loop Tools. I've heard some people say to use... Let's see this option, I think. Where is it? Uh, I know there's an option somewhere here. If I can find it. Oh, yeah, I know it's here, I believe. Transforms. Some people say to use transforms to sphere. And I'll do that. But I don't know if you notice, but this makes edges that are not consistent in length, so it's kind of messy. It's probably not the best way. So I suggest that you do use loop tools when doing it like this. Oh, here you go. Yeah, it's still not perfectly round. You can see, like, these edges here are still longer than those edges. Not by much, but, but it may be enough to be noticeable, so let's not do that go back to using loop tools and you just hit circle and usually by default it makes a pretty good circle but you notice here that the alignment with the edges on the faces they aren't straight up like uh, you might want a ray to line up straight or you might want an edge to line up straight so I think I'll show you how to do both so what you gotta do is to get an edge lined up you have to hold down shift and deselect and reselect that edge so it becomes active. You're going to need an active edge. And then we'll turn on snapping to vertex. And we want active. So the active will, this active edge will face whatever vertex you have. So to get an edge going, let's turn on snapping and rotate and we'll probably want to confine it to an axis otherwise it might get weird so I hit Z and first we, what we do is we move the mouse and see how we get that little orange circle that snaps two things so to make this edge even with the other edge, if you use edges it won't work right but you gotta use uh, vertex to snapping so what we do is we hover over the first vertex and we hit the A key and that makes a little red marker and then you move over here and then it snaps and then you click and you can see this edge is perfectly in line with the other edge so that's how you fix the alignment for edges now to do the same thing for vertices we do click click and say we want this ray to go straight out from the center so now we just rotate and snap and if you can see the lines lined up let's make sure it's on as ease it still might get some weird alignment let's say you want that ray straight out from the center to that and it'll work boom so now we got that ray you can do that for any one of them so if you're trying to line up and have good edge flows with circular uh, insets or geometry that's how you do it in blender okay so now let's go over to Handy Dandy Wings 3D and I'll create a cube and select the whole 
Dead. Let's see. Ha! It's been a while since I did this. You know what? I'll just, uh, edge loop here and. So now we have this similar kind of face geometry on top in Wings 3D. So now we have this edge loop selected. In wings, you just need to have a loop selected. I don't think it matters to have a face. Now we do the circular rise. But now we use the middle mouse button option. So we just pick our center point. Pick our plane. Pick a uh, single edge or vertex to mark the stable array. So in the case of having an edge aligned, it would be an edge. Or in the case of a vertex, a uh, vertex. So so, and as you can see, it lines up. Maybe not quite that way. I know there's a trick to it. Hey. <laughs> Let me cancel real quick. It's been a little while. Actually, with circular eyes, it usually lines up by default. So, in some ways, it's better in Blender yeah, for this kind of shape. Say you wanted to have. Uh, let's just delete this geometry here. So you want this ray to go straight up from the middle and line up. I believe is this. So we go circularize with middle mouse button, pick the center point, pick the plane, just set, and that will be the loop right, right here. And oh yeah, there's one other way to do it is rotate to target. I think that one's handy for creating it. I know you can get circles that line up with a ray heading out. But we'll do rotate to target. Because I know that works the same way as the snapping in, uh, in Blender. There. So we go rotate to target. Rotation axes. Center rotation. A point. And B point. And if it doesn't work the one way, there's a little thing at the bottom. So we hit flip back and hit 100%, and now it's going straight up. Okay, that's the way to do it in Wings. But I do know there's a middle mouse button option with circularize that is also handy for keeping alignments. Maybe I'll get back to that later, but you can do the same thing, and by default in Wings, it tends to keep a better alignment than Circle Tool and Blender does, but that's no big deal. I use both programs. I find sometimes if I want to whip something out fast, this this one's a little bit faster for doing so workflow wise. But sometimes it's a pain in the butt to switch back and forth between programs and modeling, so I'm forcing myself to learn the Blender way too. And it's not too bad, it's just you gotta learn some of the workflow differences. So there you go, that's how you get it lined up in a Blender, and that's how you get it lined up in Wings 3D. So you can see if I just uh, inset this, and oh, I don't want it that. I wanted that face. And collapse the edges. You can see that ray from the middle goes straight out to that point. So how you do it? Have fun. Do your modeling stuff. It's pretty simple.